This is your CBS 46 News update. Good Tuesday afternoon. I'm Karen Greer, the man accused of killing eight people at Metro Atlanta massage parlors, entering a guilty plea today. 22 year old Robert Aaron Long was facing charges in two counties. Today, he was in Cherokee County in a courtroom there to be arraigned for the murders of four people at Young's Asian Massage. A judge sentencing him to life in prison without parole. He now moves to Fulton County for charges. Two Atlanta police officers now suspended after video shows one of them kicking a woman in the face while handcuffed and on the ground. This happened Monday at an apartment complex in Summer Hill. Witnesses who shot the video tell us this wasn't the only time the woman was kicked and that's when they verbally confronted the officer. The video was posted on a website that went viral. The woman was taken to Grady Memorial Hospital. Atlanta police say the officer who kicked the woman and the officer who stood by have been suspended pending an investigation surrounding this incident. Three people busted and arrested after police bust a massive house party in Sandy Springs. This was on Herds Ferry Road over the weekend. Police say a father told them he allowed his daughter's band to perform. Five to 600 people attended and most of them were over underage. There was also alcohol being served, we're told, by a bartender. And police say they could smell marijuana throughout the backyard. The officers arrested Timothy Osby and Samantha Osby for putting on the event and giving alcohol to minors. A third person, an 18 year old woman, was arrested for public intoxication and refusing to leave. As fans wait for his new album, we're hearing Kanye West may have another listening party at Mercedes Benz Stadium, his new temporary home. The rapper is living inside the stadium to finish up his album, and this comes after last Thursday's listening party. The album's called Donda, named after his mother, and it was originally set for release the following day. Well, the album's new expected release date is August 6th, with a possible listening party at the Benz Thursday, August 5th. All right, let's get the latest on today's weather. The heat and how much she loves Kanye meteorologist Ella Dorsey. It is going to be a really hot afternoon. Heat advisory is in effect for areas south and east of the city from Oglethorpe uh, County down to Newton, Walton and Morgan County and even into Lake Oconee. These are areas where the heat indices or the feels like temperatures could climb above 105. Most areas will see heat indices near the triple digits this afternoon. Scattered afternoon thunderstorms even lasting into the evening and possibly even after sunset are likely and a few of these storms could be strong to severe with very heavy rain and a lot of lightning. They're going to be slow moving storms. So if you see one pop up over your area, it's likely to sit over your area for a while. After today, we dry out for the rest of the work week. High pressure takes over and man, does it get hot. We are going to see triple digit feels like temperatures Wednesday, Thursday and Friday with actual temperatures in the mid to even upper 90s. So this is dangerous heat. Make sure you're hydrating and limiting your time outside. The good news is that high pressure begins to break down this weekend, which means increasing rain chances and lower temperatures. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.